I'm going to demonstrate how to use a Graham scale. The scale is going to be your most important tool in the kitchen for the classic and the modified ketogenic diet. We recommend that you use a scale that weighs at least 1,000 grams up to 2,000 grams. The one I'm demonstrating today weighs up to 2,000 grams. And this is also available in the Keto Store on the Charlie Foundation website. So an important piece of information here is that uh, the scale should come with a cover to protect it when you're not using it. It should also have a calibration weight so that you can check it for accuracy. The scale typically will have a uh, battery capacity, but it's good to also have a power cord for uh, backup. Uh, and I like to have the power cord always attached to help tether the scale so that it doesn't get bumped off the counter in a busy kitchen. I'm going to demonstrate how to weigh butter, which is a commonly used food on the ketogenic diet. So the first thing we're going to do is place the container on the scale when the scale is on. So my scale is on and I can see before I put my container on that it is uh, zero. It, the numbers are showing 0, 0.0. So the scale also weighs to the tenth of a gram and that's great for accuracy. So let me place my empty container on the scale and then I'm going to tear off the weight of that container and I'll wait for the scale to return to 0, 0.0. Now it's ready. And now I can get my butter ready. This is butter right out of the refrigerator. You can weigh it cold, you can weigh it melted, it doesn't matter. Um, but we're going to use it cold as it is. So I'm going to take a piece of butter and I want to uh, weigh out 10 grams of butter. And I'm at 9.3 grams. So I just need a little bit more. And we're at 10.7, so I'm just a little bit over. So the rule of thumb here with anything that's wet to the touch is that we wanna be within 0.3 grams. So I'm just shaving off a little bit. Here we are at 10.2 grams, so this is ready to go. We do recommend that you weigh all of your ingredients before uh, putting them together for whatever your meal is. Make sure you take good care of your scale by wiping off any food that drips off of it and especially oil that may seep over the sides of it. Take care of your scale and it should last you a long time.